Now let's talk about Facebook video. Now this is pretty similar to uh, YouTube content, but I still wanted to throw this in as a quick case study because there are a few nuances to this platform. So from a production standpoint, overall short impactful videos that are square or vertical aspect ratio are gonna perform the best here. And also on top of that, subtitles as well are way more important for Facebook video versus something like YouTube. So the thought process is similar for creating a YouTube video, uh, but people are gonna be more likely to go on Facebook just simply for entertainment, um, sometimes news and information, but really to be entertained versus on YouTube where yes, people are looking to be entertained, but there's a little bit more of learning and tutorials and overall education happening on YouTube versus Facebook. So we're gonna look at some example Facebook videos just so we can kind of see the layout and this square aspect ratio and subtitles that I'm talking about and I will also link a best video practices checklist for Facebook that you can use for all of your future Facebook uploads. So if we just scroll down the news feed here, we'll start to see something very quickly. Nearly every nine out of 10 videos here is either square uh, aspect ratio or the vertical 16 by nine. So if you're creating a video for YouTube and you want to also share it on Facebook, I would highly recommend changing that aspect ratio because it's just gonna overall perform better on this specific platform. And I think a lot of that comes down to the way the newsfeed is laid out on mobile because so much more of the streams and video plays that you're gonna get a lot of the time regardless of what platform you upload to, are so much more in favor uh, for mobile these days compared to what they used to be where a lot of the time people were watching videos on desktop computers. Now so much of it is on a mobile device and the vertical and square aspect ratio is far more well suited for the vertical swiping and scrolling format of something like Facebook. And the reason that subtitles are important on Facebook specifically because if the person has the autoplay function set on on Facebook, that means that videos are gonna autoplay on their newsfeed and it's gonna autoplay without audio. So having subtitles are going to allow for the viewer to get more hooked in to the content that's going on on the screen even if they have the audio turned off. So this platform is really more ideal compared to something like YouTube where that situation is not really gonna be happening. And the last point to keep in mind here is that because the nature of Facebook, it was a social networking website, there's gonna be overall a lot more, well, I won't say a lot more, but it's just a different platform in the sense that it's about engagement, commenting, and liking on this platform compared to something that's just a video platform like YouTube or Instagram where it's also a photography or a photo-based platform. This one started out as a sharing, commenting, um, and messaging platform. So engagement can be a lot higher with likes and comments. So using videos and planning out your videos that are going to drive engagement in the comments, that are gonna drive shares, and that are gonna drive likes and overall reactions from your audience. Of course that's important for every single platform, but it's extra essential and something that happens, I think, more naturally on a platform like Facebook where people really wanna state their personal opinion about a subject, about a piece of content, or about your video. And that does it for this set of case studies, and now I will see you in the next lesson.